you know them places full of old settees burnt out cars dog poo the bane of Salford back alleyways sent my rig down to check out one of many communities that are doing something about it and growing their own stuff out back how did you get started on the garden project John well um we started off basically by going to the uh, big uh, shops and buying buying the tubs and planters and compost and uh, buying the plants. We got another grant then for the uh, vegetables. And as you can see, the, uh, with the weather being warm and the rain and that, they're going quite well. So it looks like you've got salad on the menu today yeah. and tomorrow. These salads, uh, this uh, all different kinds of lettuce and cabbage. And as you see, we've got apple trees, pear tree, plum tree, raspberries. It's a real treat. It's like a, as though we've got a back garden now, you know. When did you start to do the uh, garden the, project? Uh, greening up. Um, 2005, we had the gates in the... June, July, and then um, it was finished in the August. This is the first, the fourth year that we've planted up, um, but we spent a lot of money on our own stuff. We've had grants, <clears throat> had a couple of grants off Community Chest, and um, we got decking this year, and we've put all new planters in and everything, because a lot of us have problems like osteoarthritis and can't bend down and that type of thing. It's brought the community together in this part, mm. um, <clears throat> excuse me, because what we do is, I mean like they have barbecues and they come out and sit out and when it's warm and it's nice we can sit out and we can eat outside here. Whereas before it was a scruffy old tatty old dumping ground for cars and mm. all sorts of rubbish. Has the enthusiasm that you've obviously generated, has that spread to any of the, the other residents? Yeah, uh, it's spread to the top end of the alleyway because we only planted in this part. We've been out and we've bought plants, we bought uh, the greenhouses. I mean, they're only plastic, but we can do our own bedding now. Yeah. But it's like everything else, you learn by experience. I mean, when we first started, we hadn't a clue what we were doing, to be honest. <laughs> that's a, I think that's called a lace cap, that white one. Yeah. Well, that reddish pink one and that one are the same, you know. It, it doesn't cost anything to be nice to your neighbours, you know what I mean? It, it brings neighbours out, it makes, makes the area look good, uh, it makes the people feel great, they want to come out and sit in an alleyway, whereas before, it was a dumping ground for stolen cars and rubbish. I mean, don't get me wrong, we can still get rubbish in the alleyway, but at the end of the day, it gives people a little bit more pride and respect in their area.